Okay, the Jolly Roger. Um, okay, this tune is quite lively, so I'll play it first and then we'll start talking about it and playing through it to sort of give you an introduction to the tune and show you how you can approach playing it. So here it goes. It's in the key of C, by the way. If you're not sure, the C is the second note up on the A string. That's C, and there's also one down on the G string. So that's the scale of C, so away we go, the Jolly Roger. Now, it sounds complicated, but really it's not. It's the, I think it's the rhythm that makes this tune sound a little bit more complicated than it actually is. In fact, when I wrote this tune, I, I found it to be quite easy to play. So I, I jazzed it up with that nice, lively rhythm, which is basically like this. <laughs> basic bowing pattern it's one short what well, I should say one long bow and then two short ones and then you go the other way long bow two short ones you will also notice there's not a lot of bow movement with this tune have many long bows it's not like an old time fiddle tune where you have a, a, a longer bowing technique this one's quite short and it's mainly in the middle so it's, it's it's quite it's quite quick and snappy I think that might be the best way to describe it it's a reel it's in 4-4 four, four timing so it goes 1-2-3-4 1-2-3-4 for each particular bar or measure and um, so I think the best thing I can do perhaps is just play the tune through slowly without any of the ornamentation so you can kind of hear it. There's a couple of pickup notes. Okay, that's on the A string. And I start on the C on the A string. Go down to the B. Those are the two pickup notes. And there's a slide there. That first note, that first C, you slide up to it from the B. You do that with your middle finger. And then we go straight into the open A. So that's, uh, let me see, that started it. <clears throat> Yeah, that's the first four bars or four measures. So it's quite straightforward, as I say, because you go from the open A. So you just go from the A over to the open D. the first four bars and then the next four of these I'll play those four again
so that's the first eight bars of this tune. So let's do it again. Let's play that over again at that sort of nice, slow, regular speed so it's easy for you to keep up. I'll start with the pickup notes. Three, four... <laughs> So that's the first part of the tune and we repeat that three four well we don't we <laughs> sorry yeah we do put the pick the pickup notes in again three four <laughs> Now on to the B section of the tune, nothing too tricky once again. We are going across the four strings but of course um, I don't think there's anything too awkward there in this key. So we do have a pick up note, it's uh, a crotchet this time, the open A and then we start with a D on the A string. Now we've got this. That's the B section, I'll play it again. Now we'll try and apply a little bit of that bowing, although at this speed it's quite difficult. Starting from the top again now, three, four. section
I'm going to just pick up the pace a little bit. I'm not going to talk about grace notes on this particular tune because I think it, the melody, it doesn't require grace notes. So I'll just pick up the, the, the pace a little bit. Three, four. the pace but not too quick part that might cause you any difficulty is that um, third measure that third bar in the B section that's a bit funny isn't it you have to strike each note quite separately um, they don't really flow into each other there is a term a musical term for that I can't quite remember what it is but usually they put a little dot either above the note or below. And I didn't do that on my musical notation. But you can see how I play it. Now you've got to get that bowing right. You, you put a little bit more pressure on the very first note and then you back off slightly on the little two short notes so on the long note you put a little bit more pressure on and then the, the smaller note the two shorter notes they're, they're, sl they're slightly less pressure Of the technical terms for, for, for this kind of bowing I think it's called shuffle bowing I think that that might be how you describe it but I, I it's definitely one slightly longer note followed by two shorter notes and on the in the first instance you're playing your um, bow is going down and then it's up down and then it's up down up it's weird there you go <laughs> it doesn't follow all the way through that you play that kind of sh shuffle bowing because sometimes because we're playing in 4-4 four, four, and rather than 6-8 where there's um, individual groups of three notes 
um, we're playing in groups of four. <clears throat> so you kind of got to catch up every now and then. That's where you put the odd long bow in. And that's something you have to kind of work out for yourself. But hopefully if you watch that bit where I was playing it slowly, you should see roughly where I was putting long bows in. Um, there's not much else I can really say about this tune. It's a great fun tune to play. It works well in sessions and it's got a, a, a nice lilt to it, a nice rhythm going through it. So I think that's why, um, why it's, it's been quite popular. And I hope this lesson is useful and enjoyable. And as usual, have fun with your fiddling. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye bye now. Thank you.